Good morning. It's great to be back here. It feels kind of like deja vu, Tim. We're here again. Glad to be working with my good friend, our Attorney General, to announce an important step forward in our work to protect Arkansas kids. Earlier this month, we rolled out a bill to give parents more control over their kids' social media use. As a mom with three young children, this issue is very personal. I'm pleased that the bill's Senate committee hearing is today, and I look forward to that legislation hitting my desk and signing it into law. But in addition to parental controls, we have to hold big tech companies accountable for pushing addictive platforms on our kids and exposing them to a world of inappropriate, damaging content. We all saw last week's congress congressional testimony from TikTok CEO. We all heard lawmakers' bipartisan concerns that his app constitutes a threat to our national security, privacy, and our mental health. We also remember past testimony from other big tech CEOs. Though their companies aren't owned by China like TikTok, they are still very harmful to our kids. And it is time for us to take action. If President Biden and his congressional allies won't crack down on their friends in Silicon Valley, Arkansas will. We are leading the charge on three lawsuits against TikTok and Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram. This lawsuit against Meta will be the first of its kind by any state anywhere in the country. They will pay for the damage that they are doing to our kids. Our lawsuits fall under Arkansas's Deceptive Trade Practices Act, which makes it illegal for companies to engage in false, deceptive business practices. These social media companies have claimed for years that their platforms are beneficial, non-addictive, and private. That's the definition of false, deceptive, and unconscionable. Meta specifically was an early driver of the teen mental health crisis. Since their apps started becoming widespread a decade ago, our kids' well-being has plummeted. Between 2009 and 2019, teen depression has doubled. Teen loneliness is twice as high as it was in 2012, and a third of teenage girls have seriously considered suicide in the past year. Study after study has shown that social media companies are to blame for a big part of this crisis. But Meta has repeatedly claimed that its platforms are non-addictive and non-threatening to young people's mental health. Those are lies, and Arkansas will hold the, count, the company accountable. We are also targeting TikTok with two lawsuits, also under the Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Our first is aimed at the company's false claim that adult content is only mild and infrequent on their site. In reality, videos of alcohol use, drug use, and sexual content are pervasive on the app, available to anyone who claims to be 13 years or older. TikTok's own CEO even testified that he won't let his own young kids use his company's product. If he doesn't trust his own platform, Arkansas certainly shouldn't. Our second lawsuit focuses on TikTok's alarmingly close relationship with the Chinese Communist Party. The company CEO tried to cloud this issue during his testimony. So let's make this very clear. TikTok is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance. The CCP owns a portion of ByteDance. And under Chinese law, the CCP could seize data from that site whenever it wants, if it hasn't already. Our lawsuit will hold the company accountable for its false claim that Arkansas, Arkansans data is safe from the Chinese government. We will expose that this app is essentially Chinese spyware downloaded to our kids' phones. These actions are a long time coming. We have watched over the past decade as one social media company after another has exploited our kids for profit and escaped government oversight. My administration will no longer tolerate that failed status quo. Arkansas will be the best and safest place in the country for our kids to grow up. We will be a conservative blueprint for other states in the country. 
I appreciate you joining us for this announcement. I appreciate the hard work of our Attorney General and his team for all that they have done and will do to make sure that we hold these companies accountable. Thank you. And with that, I'll turn it over to the Attorney General. Thank you, Governor. Thank you for your attention to this. Thank you for being such an extraordinary partner on this. I would be remiss if I didn't also thank Chuck Harder, who is our Deputy Attorney General uh, over public protection, and he's played a critical role uh, in this litigation. There are three lawsuits, all filed in Arkansas, and the common theme of those lawsuits is deception. Content is related to that deception, but this, these are not lawsuits about content. These are lawsuits about misleading, misrepresentation, false statements, ultimately deception. And that's what the Arkansas Deceptive Trade Practices Act is all about. It's there to protect Arkansans from this sort of deception. In this particular case, not only does this deception endanger Arkansans, it is particularly harmful to our youth, to children, ultimately. And as I said at my last press conference, it wasn't that long ago, I've got three children, 15 and under. So I know firsthand what I'm talking about. So the first suit, the suit against Meta, is about deception relating to the addictive algorithm that Meta uses embedded in its app. This addictive algorithm has been the subject of many studies and hearings on Capitol Hill. And Meta, the Meta leadership, basically said, nothing to see here, not a problem, nothing intentional, just a product that can be beneficial. Wrong. Meta has intentionally, intentionally designed an addictive platform. They have intentionally misrepresented, it, misrepresented the nature of that platform under oath, I might add, in front of the United States Congress, all for the world to see. They could have provided the public with the truth so that we all had eyes wide open, knowing exactly what the product does, doesn't do. But instead, they have obfuscated and misrepresented and deceived. And you've heard from the governor some of the consequences. Ultimately, yes, parents are in charge of their kids. But we expect companies to tell the truth about the products that they put on the market. That's not asking too much. And in this case, Meta has put their growth and put their profits above the welfare of our children, of the governor's children, of my children, of your children and grandchildren. That is precisely what they have done. I was at a shooting range with my son. This weekend, I was talking to another uh, father at a skeet shoot, and the father said, yeah, my daughter's doing great out here. I'm trying to get her, get her more engaged with this. We started talking about phones and the apps in particular and these addictive platforms. And the father just volunteered to me. He said, you know, when I take that app away, their entire personality changes. It's like a different person. I said, yeah, it's like they're not teenagers anymore. It's incredible. It's like they left the teenage tunnel. I've seen that myself, and I monitor that closely. But the deception is unacceptable and unlawful in Arkansas. That's lawsuit one. Lawsuit two, we have two 
as the governor mentioned, against TikTok and bike dance. Lawsuit two, also of course filed here in Arkansas, is again about deception. It's not about the content as filthy as it is for kids, as bad as it is for kids. It's ultimately about the misleading. It's adult content that kids have access to. That's ultimately the problem. And TikTok and ByteDance have, have said, no, 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 no. That's not available to a teen, for example, a 13-year-old or whatever. That's not available to them. Now, part of the reason they need to perpetuate that misrepresentation is so they get a good, positive app score at the, on the Apple App Store or the Google App Store or whatever. That's a part of their growth and profit plan. They've got to maintain that this is safe because if they admit it's not safe, it hurts their ability to sell. Well, without going into a lot of detail that the litigation will demonstrate later, I will just say that it's false that minors can't access the sort of content that I'm talking about. Whether it be sexual in nature, drug abuse, whatever, it's all pretty much there for anybody to see regardless of age, not just for adults. Again, another example of deception. Now I want to point out that this pleading, this suit, is under seal. It's got a lot of horrible stuff in it, but that's not why it's under seal. It's under seal because we had some really good attorney general allies in other states, who, one of which I knew from my days in Congress. I was elected with the uh, attorney general of Indiana in 2010, so we have a relationship, and that's been beneficial here. They've been willing to share information with us, and part of that agreement is that we keep it under seal. So that particular lawsuit filed in Cleburne County is under seal. The third lawsuit is also about deception. It's about TikTok and bite dance saying one thing when the truth is another. As the governor said, saying that there's no potential Chinese access to our data when in fact there is. Now, what TikTok has done that we are suing them over in the second lawsuit, it's unacceptable regardless of who owns them, regardless of who can access our data. But this third lawsuit is about China because look, Let's just be real, since it's just us here talking in this room. China's not our friend. Yes, we trade with them, but they're not our friends, and they don't have your best interest at heart. If this is not, I know this has made it into the public sphere over the last few years, but let me tell you, the military has known about TikTok for a long time. In the military, even in public articles, was warning about TikTok years before it became a 24-hour news story on your local channel, on your channel. This has long been a problem. So this is not some new problem that just came about for politics. This is a national security issue. Now, it's taken a while to awaken a lot of Americans on it. But this is a long, this is a problem that has for a long time been begging for a solution and still is. The fact is, the Chinese may or may not already have access, as the governor indicated. And there is a lot of evidence to indicate that TikTok and ByteDance have not been truthful as it relates to access to the data. So these are the three suits. The common theme is deception. And the consequences of that deception 
is endangering Arkansans, particularly our children, our youth. And our laws in this state are perfectly suited to hold these companies accountable, and that's precisely what we're doing. I want to thank the governor again, and thank you all. I think we've both been tracking the kind of dangers of social media for a long time. It's something um, as parents, it's a concern we share and felt like this was a, a good action for the state to engage in. Look, I think it's fair to say that before I was elected, I can't speak for the governor, but I think, I think she's indicating this here. Before I was elected, before she was elected, we knew it was a problem. Uh, and we've had a lot of conversation, had a great working relationship. And early on, we realized we were both tracking the same issues here. And um, so I haven't seen any daylight between us on these issues. There are, other, some, other lawsuits filed there are some other states with similar lawsuits. Obviously, yeah. our laws are different, right. uh, but as a general matter, those are, uh, there are a few other states who, as I, as I, as I mentioned, right, uh, Indiana. Specifically on TikTok, too, I think there's a yeah, lot TikTok, of. Yeah, TikTok, Bike Dance, the second uh, complaint that I talked about, which we call the filth complaint, lack of a better word. Um, that one's the one under seal. That one we worked with the Attorney General of Indiana on. It's fair, Chuck? Yes. Okay. Um, so there's not a lot of them, but there are a few of them with regard to TikTok and bite dance. Is there a fourth lawsuit? No, there are three. There are three. So two one, one for Meta yeah. and two one for Mata and two for TikTok bike dance. You said one's understood. That is one of the ones that you should not have uh, in its entirety, and that's the Cleveland County TikTok bike dance that deals with the uh, misleading about the content available to to minors. The uh, you've got one that says that says So not all the content, you'll see if you look through it, some of it's not, you can't read it. Can you? What remedy are you seeking? Well, we're seeking uh, damages. Uh, we're also seeking the, uh, injunctive relief. So there'll be, a number of, there'll be a number of options for us as we go forward. We, can, we want to stop them from doing certain things, but at the same time, there's always monetary Damages. I think also just the overall accountability and making sure that we are taking steps and actions to hold these companies who have not been regulated accountable for um, and making sure that we're protecting our kids. And ultimately a change in behavior. Yeah. Uh, so we're not really seeking the shutdown of the businesses. We're just seeking uh, a correction in uh, maybe business practices or actions y'all can see. Well, all options are on the table. We're going to do whatever is in the strategic interest of the people of Arkansas. And we're not going to take any of that off the table at the announcement of the, of the litigation. We are, I am 100% committed to seeing this through to the end, and we're going to do whatever we have to do to, um, to protect the people of Arkansas. And that may, you know, wherever that takes us, we'll go. Great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you all.